Today we are going to compare some of the biggest differences between real brokerage versus a brick and mortar style real estate brokerage. I have about eight or nine points that I'm gonna share with you guys, eight or nine differences between the two. And then at the very end, I'm gonna share a prediction that I cannot believe I'm even saying, but I truly do believe this is what is going to happen in the future of real estate in the next 20 years or so. so be sure to stay tuned until the very end. You're not gonna wanna miss that today. I guarantee you that. So um, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Mariah and I'm a real estate agent in the beautiful state of Oregon. If this is your first video where you're hearing about real brokerage, head over to my channel. I have an entire playlist dedicated to talking all about real brokerage. But my husband and Spencer and I are a top producing real estate team. And I have been a licensed real estate agent since um, 2015. When I was 18, right out of high school, a couple years later, my husband quit his job and joined me in real estate and we've been a team ever since. And I, um, I had been with the same real estate brokerage my entire time in real estate and I always said I will never switch brokerages. I honestly just thought it was such a waste of time. I thought it was such a hassle and just unnecessary and I just thought it was really dumb when people would like hop to brokerage to brokerage because I always felt like Okay, maybe you're saving a little bit of money at one brokerage, but like at the end of the day, it kind of evens itself out with what you're getting from the other one, if that makes sense. Like I just really didn't see the point in switching brokerages. Um, I was very like long term thinking in my real estate career and where I was at. Back this past spring, um, out of nowhere, my husband and I decided to switch to real brokerage. And I can honestly say it has been one of the best decisions we have ever made for our real estate business. So that's just a little info if you're new here, but just wanted to share all of that before we get into these real brokerage versus brick and mortar. I have some notes for you guys. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because I have been having a lot of conversations with real estate agents just recently over the past like few months or so um, who are all over the US and Canada and are thinking about joining real brokerage. And many of these agents that I'm talking with are brand new agents. Many of them have just got their real estate license, haven't hung it anywhere, have never sold a single home. And so because of this, these are things that they just really don't know or don't understand. So I'm going to like, hopefully try to break this down for you in just as like easily explained, I guess you could say as I can. The first difference between real brokerage and an old school brick and mortar brokerage is real brokerage is virtual, meaning you do not have an office space. Brick and mortar brokerages, you may or may not have your own office space. You may have your own room that you pay for. You may have your own little cubicle that you pay for. You may just have a little like shared office space that you pay for um, where any of the agents can come and work from. So that's generally what it's gonna look like at a brick and mortar brokerage. You will probably have some sort of space to utilize to do your work from, if that makes sense, if you choose to. I know for me personally, when I first got my real estate license in the first like few years in my business or so, I loved going to the office. I really enjoyed working from there. I enjoyed just having my own little space. And really ever since becoming a mom though, it just doesn't make sense for me or even for my husband, just the way that we run our business and our life. It just doesn't make sense to have an office. And we honestly never really have hardly stepped foot in our office over the past few years, even though we had our own like private office room. That really wasn't something that was a big like shift or change for us at all, just because we were so used to not working from the office anyway, that it really honestly didn't feel any different when we switched over and it really hasn't felt any different. The next difference between a brick and mortar brokerage and real brokerage is the technology that agents have access to. I won't go super into this because I have talked more about it on different videos where I've talked about real broker in the past. But when I was at my old brick and mortar style brokerage, I know we were always told that we had the best of the best technology. We had the best, what's it called? Um, property watch, like whatever you put your clients on, like your buyer clients. We had the best CRM system. And after switching to real broker, here's how I would compare the two like CRM systems and just technology as a whole that we have access to. The technology at the previous brokerage was literally like a VCR or a tape video, whatever you we used to call those back in the day. And 
the technology at this new brokerage, real brokerage, is like Netflix or whatever the newest streaming is compared to the technology that we used before, if that makes sense. So a world of difference. I think that cloud-based brokerages in general are known for having the best of the best technology in the real estate industry. And I truly do believe that real brokerage has the best technology in the entire industry. The next thing is something I think is really important to compare the two. So this is the training style. Your training style, like how you get trained is going to look very different at real brokerage versus at a brick and mortar brokerage. So at a brick and mortar brokerage, when you have a real estate training, what's gonna happen is somebody is going to most likely drive down from a different maybe branch of your office, something like that, um, in a different like market a couple hours away maybe. They will drive down and they will come to your office. It'll be in person in a big training room with all the agents that attend, everyone there in person, and they will teach a training class. Generally, you're going to see tr these training classes happen. I know from my experience, it was like once a month max. Usually it was more like once a quarter. The way that training works at Real Brokerage is it is all online. So you're able to do it from wherever you're at, you can join in. And the coolest thing about it though to me is that you are not just being taught by one old guy from a, an office a few hours away that's driving down to your office, for example. You are being trained by a handful of top producing agents all over the US and Canada sharing exactly what's working for them in their market spaces like all over. Basically all of the training is mastermind style, meaning you hop on, it kind of looks like you're on like a big Zoom call or something. You can tune in through your phone or through your laptop, your computer. I usually just join through my phone. So there are masterminds, which is another word for their training. They happen every weekday, multiple times a day every single day of the week, like multiple times a day. And they are on various different topics. So you can choose, you can join as many of you as you want, and you can choose which specific topics you're wanting to learn about for your real estate business and how you're wanting to grow your business, et cetera. And the coolest thing though, is you are able to join live or you can listen back later. So I usually listen back later because where I'm at in my business, I just, I don't have a ton of questions and I really, being a mom especially, and while running a business and having other projects and things that we're working on, I don't have the time necessarily, it wouldn't be the, I don't wanna say I don't have the time, because like I could make the time, but it's not the best use of my time, I guess you could say, to join live. It's the best use of my time to hop onto these masterminds or listen back, I guess you could say, while I'm doing something else. If you are a new agent, I think this could be especially helpful. Or if you're an agent that's just looking for community, this could be really helpful because you can join live. And when you join these masterminds live, what that'll look like is you are able to obviously turn your camera on if you want, turn your video, your voice on if you want, and you, they really want it to be interactive. It's definitely not like just watching a YouTube video, for example, where somebody is like training you in real estate. These are very interactive. They're asking questions. You're able to give feedback. You're able to ask questions. Like they're, it's very much so interactive as a group. And I just think that could be so beneficial to new agents because on these masterminds, there's tons of other agents from all over the country, everyone sharing advice, what's working for them. I love the training and I definitely think that the training is way, way better here than at a old school brick and mortar style brokerage. And now this, this next difference between a brick and mortar brokerage and real brokerage is what you're actually trained on. So I just broke down like the training style differences, but what you're actually trained on. Now, this is actually one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I wanted to join Real Brokerage, just because we are so video marketing heavy in our business. We get so many clients from video and there are tons of agents at Real doing video at a much higher level than we are, sharing exactly what's working for them and their strategies. And so if you are doing video, you gotta be at Real Broker. I know this for a fact because I have conversations, I have phone calls and I have Zoom calls with real estate agents from all over very often. Like I said, some of them are brand new agents and some of them are seasoned agents who have been in the business longer than me, are selling way more than me. And um, one of the complaints that I've heard across the board from all types of agents is that the training at brick and mortar brokerages, like the content of what they're training on is just 
so outdated and I couldn't agree more. So at Real Brokerage, you are going to learn like the 2025 strategies of how to get business and from people who are actually doing it at a really high level. Who might this not be a good idea for? If you are somebody who absolutely has to have your principal broker anytime you have a question, anytime you need help with anything, you wanna just physically walk down to your office and plop down in a chair and have your principal broker right there in person, then maybe real brokerage isn't a good fit for you because that's definitely not what you're going to get here. The next difference between real brokerage and brick and mortar brokerages is all the fees. Now, this is something we're definitely seeing the benefits of in our business, although this is definitely not a reason that we initially wanted to switch for, if that makes sense. But at a brick and mortar brokerage, you're gonna have really crummy commission splits. You're gonna have fees, all kinds of monthly fees, quarter, like all the fees, lots and lots of fees. At real brokerage, you don't have any monthly fees and the commission splits here are the most attractive ones in the entire real estate industry. So just basically you're gonna save a lot of money being at a cloud-based brokerage. The next difference between a brick and mortar brokerage and real brokerage is brand recognition. I do hear this a lot when I tell people I'm with real brokerage. Obviously people like not in real estate, they're like, what's that? Or I've never heard of that. Has it ever costed me a client? Have I ever not gotten a deal because of it? Never. I think that when you're at a brick and mortar brokerage, they really like their franchise name. They really, really like their brand and they are super like strict on making sure that you, um, market yourself in such a way, like you're, you're in such a box. You're only allowed to do so, so few things with your marketing because it has to be their brand. And here at real, that's another thing. Like we have so much more freedom with our marketing, but, um, back to brand names. So at a brick and mortar brokerage, they're probably going to try to convince you that you need their brand name to get business. Has a brand name ever gotten me business? Never, not once. Um, this has not been a problem at all. This is definitely something I feel like maybe they say that because this was a thing back in the day, but people don't really care or know anything about real estate brand names anymore from my experience. The next difference is at Real Brokerage, you don't need to be on a team um, to reap the benefits of being on a team. And I'll explain what I mean by that. Unless you're talking like getting leads sent to you, then that's a little bit different of a story. So what I mean by this is in some cases, when you join a real estate team, you will get leads sent to you. Like the team leader will pay for Zillow leads, for example, and he will disperse those leads throughout the team. However, if you're joining a team that doesn't give you leads, or their main, I guess, like reason for joining the team is because of their training in their masterminds, like many at like EXP, you hear this a lot. Like if you join us, like we'll be able to have these masterminds every week, whatever. But the thing is at Real Brokerage, you can get those benefits without having to join the team and give that team leader any of your commission split. And what I mean by that is you have these masterminds going on all throughout the day, all throughout the week on so many different topics and things like you, that's basically what you would be getting from being on a team is that training. You're getting it for free without having to be on a team and give up that commission split. So I don't know if I explain that in a way that makes sense, but that's really just how I see it. And to be honest, if you're like, well, I wanna be on a team to get those like, those crummy leads. I want those like crappy Zillow leads, those crappy Redfin leads. They the things that you're gonna learn from these masterminds at Real are gonna teach you how to actually get good quality, solid leads, not Zillow leads. And it's gonna be in a way that's free where you're not having to spend money to get the leads. So take that with a grain of salt. A few of my thoughts on brick and mortar brokerages versus cloud-based brokerages. Remember Blockbuster or Hollywood Video. Now we have Netflix. I don't see people wanting to go back to Blockbuster when they have the convenience now that they do. Another example is just this morning, I realized I am out of three different products that I need to use every day. These are all three products I buy a very specific type and brand of each, meaning I would have to drive to three different stores across town if I wanted to go out and go to each different store for just one of these products, if that makes sense. So obviously, I'm gonna just go on Amazon and buy all of those three products, have them shipped to my door, and it's gonna take me less than 60 seconds to do it. Why would I go back to that old school way of doing things just because I wanna like walk through the store and like 
keep things the way they used to be. It just doesn't make sense. And I can't believe I'm saying this because I was so against cloud-based brokerages for so long for so many reasons. I really did not like them, never wanted to be at one, but I really believe, this is my real estate prediction, you can contact me in 20 years when we see that I'm right. In 25 years from now, when all of these old generation of real estate agents, the ones that are what I'm seeing, really the only ones that are holding on to this like old school, having an office, having the brand name, the ones that are gonna comment on this video or that have commented on my previous videos about real brokerage. In 25 years from now, these brick and mortar brokerages are gonna have their lights off. People do not want to work from an office anymore. I've noticed this even from the pandemic. In every industry, so many people have not even gone back to work from the office. Like things have not been the same. And just with the convenience of how everything is at Real Brokerage, the technology, the way that things are so much more convenient, why would somebody pay so many more fees to go to a brick and mortar brokerage? It just doesn't make sense. And I really do believe that brick and mortar brokerages are dinosaurs and they're gonna be extinct. I know in our market, for example, I'm even seeing many brick and mortar style real estate brokerages going from having big office spaces to really small office spaces because either they can't afford it or like people just aren't coming into the office as much anymore. And so I think we're at like the very, very tippy beginning of this, but I really do not see brick and mortar brokerages being the thing of the future. I have more to say, but I'm gonna save it for another video because this video is getting lengthy. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you have questions about real brokerage or if you wanna hop on a Zoom call to see if it might be a good fit for you, I'd love to chat with you. I will put my contact information below. Feel free to reach out anytime. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because we do come on here every single week with new videos. And I'll see you next week.